So hello everybody. The reason why I'm capturing this video is because I I had few of these laptops and I haven't seen anybody uh, capturing the YouTube video about this issue. So basically what it is, this is Dell Latitude E7240 and I had few of them which were completely dead. What does it mean? You plug charger, no lights, you can't turn it on. If you plugged fully charged battery, no lights, you can't turn it on. If you plug charger and empty battery, no charge, laptops absolutely dead. But it is actually cheap repair. So <clears throat> you don't need to really spend a lot of money. Uh, you just need to take your time and uh, carefully disassemble laptop because what I found uh, there is an issue with some connectors. Uh, the easy thing is just to remove uh, basically all the components, memories, SSD, uh, LAN card and display cable, power connector. So basically it's definitely not power connector because it doesn't work from battery as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing here this, you can try to disconnect these things and connect back, but it, the, this actually didn't help. So what you need to do, you need to unscrew all the screw, palm rest, you, re you need to disassemble this laptop. It's not that easy, uh, but yeah, if you are careful, you you can just watch my video and, and do it. And uh, there are some connectors which, which causing this issue. When I unplug these connectors and plug it back, the laptop was working fine for ages. So basically, uh, uh, you just need to disassemble laptop. Like when I was small and I didn't understand anything, I just disassemble something, put it back, and every second things was working. You're working. So basically, I'm not removing this because uh, this laptop is working. It's got just winding coil, so, so I'm replacing this motherboard. So we got all screw here. Unplugged okay. connector. Yeah, this is all the way through, but the things before were easy. You need to be careful here to not break anything. Basically, you pray this way, pulling this way, pray it out. Be careful around this switch. There's a few plastic which you can break. So that's why I'm doing this at the end. So keep that switch at the end and don't pray it up because you need to go this way. So when you when you go back, you're gonna plug it here. First thing you're gonna plug this in, push there, and then snap it in. So you can't really pray this way because you're gonna break this plastic so, 
quite a lot of screw. But two screw, two of these were for this model. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of screw here. Basically, first time I was just about to replace motherboard, but when I disassemble laptop, I test the motherboard. I was about to measure some voltages, and I've because everything was actually fine when I measure voltages. Just the laptop looked like that, that, that. So I thought it's motherboard. But this actually can happen on other laptops as well. Uh, you replace the screen assembly and after that the laptop doesn't work and some connectors which you didn't you haven't touched they just get wrong connection. You know it's after six years can happen so So be careful with this cable as well. Seems to me, well, it seems to be very fragile. Actually, otherwise, good tweezers, which got some grip, and you can gently, you can gently pull as well. So basically, it can be these two, these two, but there is one more underneath, so I can't tell which one it is, but I had three laptops like this, and uh, every time it was connection, and I believe it was one of these three. So you can try only these two, of course, and then just you don't even need to remove this cable, you don't need to remove screw. So unplug these two, plug them back uh, and test your laptop. You don't even need to remove memory, you need to, don't need to remove anything in that case. Yeah, generally you don't probably need to remove memory on SSD because you're not going all the way there. So they can stay in. Uh, yeah, so you don't need to remove. I am removing all this stuff because because I'm gonna swap uh, all the motherboard here. So you don't need to remove this, you don't need to remove memory, you don't need to remove SSD. So this is a little bit more demanding. So I'm doing this, trying this way. Up. Oh yeah. So basically, if you are here, you can probably see there is another connector here. Can you see that connector? So it can be this one as well. So you can test with these two. You don't need to unscrew the armrest. But if it doesn't help, I guess yeah, you can see now. Just unplug this one. Plug it back and try. It should be one of these. If you got the same issue like I got. Uh, so that's probably all. I'm gonna remove other things. But uh, you don't need to, you really need to unplug this.